One of the biggest goals a webmaster or website owner has is to get users to click on stuff, whether it be links in the search results, links on the website to affiliate products, links to other content on the website so that they can read more content, clicks on ads, click on email subscription boxes, or clicks on products so that they can purchase products. All of these are click-based events. And that's one of the reasons the biggest websites in the world like Amazon, Walmart, e-commerce website, affiliate websites, or just publications, all have clickable events which they highlight on their site so that you as a user can click and make more money for them. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to replicate that process, how to highlight the links on your site, make them clickable, make them stand out on your website so that you can entice your users to click on those links and you making more money. Let's begin. All right, so I'm gonna be discussing a few different ways how you can highlight the links on your website, depending on what you're trying to achieve with those links. Any of these methods can be applicable to you. So I would highly encourage you watch the video till the end because you're gonna learn some seriously good stuff. Let's start with the method number one, which is the easiest and is applicable for unique links that you wanna highlight on your website. So I have on my website, a simple post created content test and I've added this link. Let's add a link from this page and this part, which you can notice is the actual link. Now, obviously you wanna highlight this link and and this is the default color. The current color of this link is the default color, which is blue with an underline. How do you change that? Well, you might not have noticed that the block editor in WordPress now has a feature where you can change the color of your links directly. Just click on the block itself and make sure that the block settings are visible. In this case, this is a paragraph block and you'll see these color options appear. You can change the color of the text, the background and the link. So in this case, we're gonna just be messing with the link. So I click the link option here. You have two options. If your website or if your theme supports global colors, you'll see the theme based colors here or you can use any of the default colors. You can set this to any color you like. For example, I like this green color a lot. So I'll just click on it and instantly see the link is now changed color. Now, important thing to realize is that this will change only this link color. And if you duplicate the block, it will also change the color of the duplicated block. For example, if I click here and I just press Control Shift D or Command Shift D on a Mac, it'll duplicate this block and it will also duplicate the settings here. But if I create a new block and I add a paragraph and I just type in another one like this and I add a new link here, let me just add a link quickly, wbeginner.com this will be the original link. So if I just update the post and let me just open up the post in a new tab, it's already open. Let me refresh the post. And you'll notice that now there are three links on the page and the first two are actually in a different color and the third one is a different color or which is the default color. And this is an easy way to highlight links on landing pages or one-off pages, or if you have one-off links, you're running a special promotion on your website, you want to highlight just a couple of links, it's an easy way to highlight those links on your site. And you have other controls here as well. So if you have, let's say, you didn't have the surrounding text, you just had the link, you could also change the size and make some other changes here as well. For example, if I click this option here, I I can specify the size of this specific block in pixels. So if I had just had the link or for let's, let's example, I was just customizing this one. I can go to the link color here. I can change it to, let's say uh, light green, this one, and I can go back here and I can go to this option and I can just drag this and make it bigger or smaller. And let me update the post once again. I'll go back to the page. I'll refresh it. And now you see this is a highlighted link specifically. So you can just use this in creative ways to highlight links on your site. It's very easy, but remember this does not translate to the entirety of your website, just on the specific link that you have customized. And I'd say that's a good thing because if you just want to highlight a couple of links on your site, a couple of important links, a couple of, let's say, uh, important events you're doing, you can use this technique or you can use this feature, not a technique, to simply highlight the link on your website. This is method number one. Let's talk about method number two. So let's talk about the second method to change the color of links on your website. And this method is gonna be using your theme or seeing if your theme actually supports changing colors of links directly from the themes options. In this case, I'm using the Astra theme, which supports the customizer. If you're using a block-based theme, then the interface and the way to do this will be quite different since block-based themes haven't picked up as much or they are not, uh, let's say the majority of the market. I'm not covering that specific area, but if you're using a blog based teams, let me in the comments and we might just plan a dedicated video on how to make any kind of changes, cosmetic changes on your website using the editor in WordPress. Right now I'm using the Astra theme, which is not blog based. It's just the regular theme in WordPress. And that's why I am using the customizer to make changes. And inside the Astra theme, for your theme, it might be different. You might have a theme options panel. So make sure to check out your theme settings. In the Astra theme, I know it's gonna be inside the customizer. And I can go to the global options here 
and inside global i have the color options where i can make changes to the colors of my site so i have a theme color which is or not the theme color i have a theme accent color the color of the links which we'll be customizing we also have uh, colors of headings body text and borders and of course we want to be changing the colors of the links and there are two colors here which means there we can change the uh, link color or normally and also the hover color of the link so this is the link color you might just notice i'll you know, just go uh, pay attention to the screen here if i hover over the link the color does not change but if you change these colors then that will change as well so let's click on this and then now uh, we can start changing or customizing the link color let me just change the u a bit i'll just make uh, this a little bit green and i'll also change the same color or i'll just pick the same color copy it from here paste it here and i'm going to just make a little change i'm going to make the shade a little darker hover and sometimes this might also happen to you that you're seeing changes here right here but the actual changes have been applied but sometimes you need to save your changes in the customizer and refresh it and then the actual changes appear for example you don't see the changes here but uh, you already have made the changes here so what you do is just publish this and just go to the actual post which is here i'll just refresh it and now you see all the links are now different colored or exactly the color that we used here. And if I even hover over this, you'll notice that it turns to a dark green shade, which is what we said in the customizer. But this brings us to another problem. Even if the theme supports changing the links of colors, you might not have wanted to change all the links. You might not have wanted to have these links changed, these links changed, or else these links as well, because then all the links on your website are in the same color. You wanted to highlight a specific set of links just to make sure that they stand out. How do you actually achieve that? Well, it is possible with method number three. So if you don't want to use this method or the first method isn't applicable to you, let's watch and let's learn about method number three on how to customize the links on your website. Let's begin. All right, so I've added a piece of code here and you might not understand what this code snippet is. Let me explain what it is and I promise everything will start making sense. It's very simple. So if we go to the post first, if I select the properties of this link, you'll notice something here. This link is this piece of code, which is represented by an A tag, the A tag here. And that's exactly what I'm targeting in this CSS. I'm just telling CSS or using CSS, I'm telling website, hey, whenever you find an A tag, which means a link, just change its color to this hex code. It's a shade of green, it's a hex code. Change this color or change the link to this color of green. And the color is not showing up here right now because the code snippet is disabled. If I enable it, it'll work. So this is the basic logic of how we are going to use CSS. We're going to attach or we're going to say, hey, change the properties of this link, in this case, the color to anything that I like. So let me enable this, refresh the final post, and I'll explain what else can you do with CSS, which makes it very flexible and powerful. So we'll enable this, we'll update the post or update the code snippet. It's updated now. Let's go to the post here. I'll close this part. I'll refresh the page. Now you see all the links on the site are now green color, which is the color I picked. Absolutely beautiful. Easy, right? But there are a couple of problems that we also see. First of all, again, the same problem. All the links are now changed to same green color. And what difference does it make if uh, I can make only this change? I want to customize or highlight my links in a special way. There are two things that we're going to fix. First, how to make sure only the links inside the body of the post are changed. And second, how can we make links stand out even more? I'm going to start with problem number two first. And how we're going to do it is by adding some more properties here, right here. So ju just as I change the color, we can change other properties of links as well using CSS. So let me just copy and paste the code snippet that I've already written down. I'm just going to paste it here and explain what that code snippet does. So let, just make, let me just copy it for a second and i copied it i'll just paste it here and this is the code snippet and what this code snippet is uh, saying that hey inside the text decoration property which is a fancy way of saying hey how is the text highlighted right in this case it's an underline what are the properties the website should display based on this so make sure that the, the text or the link is underlined which is already in line but i'm just specifying it use this specific color for the underline Use this as the type of underline. In this case, it's a solid. You can also have a dotted and a wavy underline. There are a couple of options. Add the thickness of that link to this percentage. You can also specify the percentage is more flexible. And with this, not only are we changing the color of the links, we are also specifying a specific kind of underline, thickness of an underline, and the color of the underline right here with CSS. I hope now it's easy to understand what we are doing, right? I'll update this once again. 
and I'll go to the post once again. I'll just refresh it. And now you see everything is now beautifully highlighted on the page and everything or the thickness of the link is based on the actual element itself. That's the beauty of using CSS. Now let's fix the first problem, which is that every link on the page is now highlighted. So I'll go back here. I'm going to just make one change here, which you can also follow along. What I'm going to do is instead of just saying a, I'm going to say dot entry hyphen content space a. And what this means is that instead of targeting all the links on the website or all the links on the page, just target the links that are inside this area. This is Web's or WordPress's way of saying entry content. So any links inside the entry content will be affected. So let's update the post. I'll refresh the page. And now only the links inside the content area are now highlighted. And it looks beautiful. I'm not a great designer, but I still, I can, or the links do stand out on the page. But Yuvraj, there's one thing we are missing. When you displayed method number two, you were also able to change the hover color of the links. Can we also change the hover color here? Absolutely. It's actually very easy. What I'm going to do is just copy the same code snippet, paste it once more and make one small change once again. You can do the same thing. I'm just going to copy the entire code snippet paste it here and instead of just the a i'm going to say a colon h o v e r hover and now what this code snippet is saying hey when there's a normal link just use this properties when you hover over the link just change the properties a little bit and what i'm going to do is change the color both in this both cases so that we can actually see the difference so i'll pause the video for a second find a different color which actually suits the website and we're going to see a live demo once again so i'll pause the video and be back in a second all right so i've made the changes to the color codes here i've picked a shade of blue just to give it a little bit of contrast so that i can it's easy to understand and follow along i'm going to update the post once again i'm going to go here refresh the post and now once we hover over the link, now you see the color is changing. So it's easy to see how simple this code snippet is, right? It's just the same properties. I've just changed the properties for the hover. And you can do the same thing if you want to change the properties for a link that is already visited. On a regular website or regular blog post, if you click on a link and it's visited, it changes to a shade of purple. That's the property you can change right here. And again, you don't have to do something fancy. Just take this or take this entire code snippet, paste it once more, and instead of hover, just change it to visited and make those changes. In this case, I would, let's say, change the highlight to something smaller and change the colors to something else. I'll pause the video for one second for a second, change it to some shades of purple just to give it a similar feel and we'll back and I'll show you the live demonstration. All right, so I've made changes to the code snippet, making it a shade of purple and just let's, let us revise what we did. We added this piece of code snippet. This is representing the properties of a regular link. This is representing the properties of the hover property. That means when we hover over a link and this is representing uh, properties of the link that we've already visited. So I've already saved and updated the post, tested it out. And this was the regular link. This is what the code snippet we did here. If you hover it, it's a shade of blue, but we visited or I already tested it out. If you visit the link, it turns to a shade of purple. So that's how easy it is to uh, highlight the links and CSS. It's not that scary, right? So this is how you can follow along the tutorial, add any kind of properties and make more changes. This is just the, I'd say, tip of the iceberg. CSS allows you to make even more, I'd say, exciting changes to your website. So if you're interested in learning more CSS, you can, there are tons of resources available on the internet, but you can use this tutorial to just make the specific changes that I showed you. Just replace the color course uh, based on the branding of your website and you'll have a beautiful looking website in no time. And the best part about this approach is that even if you build your website or pages using a page builder, then all these changes that you make here will also reflect to all the pages, landing pages. Uh, if you create an entire theme using a page builder, all those links or all those changes will also reflect to those pages as well. So if you're using a hybrid strategy that you have just a regular theme, but you create some of the pages with a page builder like Seedprod, all these changes will be reflected to those pages as well. So it's a very robust strategy. And if you want to make any changes, you just go to the code snippets. You have this code snippet here. You can always edit this code snippet without messing with your WordPress theme files or uh, uh, forgetting to change your theme and then losing all these changes. All right. So these were three exciting ways to change and highlight the links on your website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave a comment. Otherwise, you can subscribe and watch a couple of videos I'll place on the screen. You're watching Yuvraj from WBeginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.